The Eight of the Ruined King has been a meta item on Misfortune a few seasons back, and it's obviously still super strong and synergistic, and here's why. <laughs> Hello my fellow Misfortunates, and welcome to another episode of Unranked to Diamond, the series in which I show you that Elo Hell does not exist, obviously not by just uploading stomps and wins, but by showcasing a realistic climb to Diamond on an unranked account. And today I want to play Blade of the Ruined King Misfortune. Well, oh, I cancelled my auto. Back in the day you went Blade of the Ruined King and uh, full um, lethality afterwards. And I think this is a build that still works super well in uh, Season 11 because of the fact that... Um, hang on, level 2 power spikes. Because of the fact how lethality items can be, or how synergistic their secondary effects are, right? Because Blade of the Rune King now gets the slow and the increased kiting on the third auto attack instead of being an active. And uh, Eclipse does a very similar thing. You attack twice, get movement speed, makes it easier to get the third auto attack off. So clear synergy there. And then we get Sangu uh, yeah, Sanguine Blade for more attack speed, which means more damage from the on hit from Blade of the Rune King and more lethality, and let me just start stacking lethality for strong ultimates in the mid to late game, or late game rather. Uh, but yeah, even in the early game, or in the mid game, after you complete Blade of the Ruined King, you just auto them three times, and then they are slowed, and uh, press the attack is triggered, and then you can just ult them for massive damage, because the ult is amplified by press the attack, and on top of that, uh, they are slowed and can't dodge it as easily, right? So we don't have any mana regeneration with this build, but we don't need to, we get a lot of attack speed. We can go with Legend of Alacrity too, because we get three lifesteal items um, in our build in Blade of the Ruined King, Eclipse, and Sanguine Blade in this order. And uh, the, la uh, the the attack speed from Boots, uh, Blade of the Ruined King, and later Sanguine Blade allows us to manipulate minion waves without using a single spell. So we don't need the extra mana. Uh, cheeky engage from Leona there, just barely out of reach. I, I wouldn't be too big a fan, simply because Zyra's disengage is so strong. Uh, level 6 onwards we can be super aggressive. Leona Misfortune is a nasty bot lane combo. But yeah, I'd rather play it safe. <laughs> I'd rather play it safe, says he, and immediately flashes on top of two people. <laughs> oh well. Calculated aggression. League of Legends is all about that. Uh, all about knowing how much damage you can deal and how much damage you can tank. And acting accordingly. And it's also about not getting greedy. Uh, we should be fine, 2 versus 1, and we have, uh, yeah, okay, perfect. We get a perfect base too, we get Vamp Scepter plus Boots, makes us more mobile, and Vamp Scepter unlocks the overheal synergy, because, uh, well, Misfortune, best Bloodthirster user in the game, also best overheal user in the game, because as long as you're shielded, you are never going to lose your W movement speed passive. It's not possible. So this means... Obviously, when you press W, it refreshes, but then even a single auto-attack from a minion will knock you out of strut again. And uh, with overheal, that doesn't happen. So you just remain sped up all the time, makes kiting even easier. And obviously, overheal still has its original function of just making you a little bit tankier, so... Um, it's, it's just amazing or misfortune. It's probably the best minor rune you can get on this champion. It's a pity it's... Uh, sharing its slot with Presence of Mind, but, uh, I mean, it's fine. Yes, here, there, we take minion damage, but we remain sped up. Now the shield breaks. Oh, it doesn't break, so we still remain in strut. Yeah, just a quick demonstration there. Obviously, the shield gets stronger as the game goes on. We'll also be maxing W. Three points in Q for the lane phase for extra pressure, but uh, W max by level 10. Uh, 
Nice one. Ah, oh, don't dive too hard, please. Okay. Nice, we get a plating here. Oh, we can dive Kaisa, actually. She's still dead, right? Oh wait, I'm dead. Tunnel visioned, didn't see the Kha'Zix, and now Ari is here as well. Okay, that's my bad. That's me just not playing, uh, not not playing according to vision. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I let you down. I thought that was a good play, but I didn't watch the minimap. Ah, tunnel vision. Greed kills you. It's always the same story. At least Kaisa missed a lot of farm on the tower. Well, she's on two kills. Ugh. Yeah, if she stays, she just dies. Don't think we can do much there. If I go towards Dragon, they are three versus one against me, so yeah, not, not gonna happen. So we want to finish Bork, which is Blade of the Wind King, before we finish Boots, because uh, obviously Boots is just attack speed, and the attack speed would be more valuable if we actually have the on -hit damage from Blade of the Wind King to back it up. But yeah, that tower dive was stupid. Not watching the minimap before I do that is um, asking for trouble. And it looks like I got what I asked for. <laughs> oh well. Just a minor slip up, we should still be fine. Wave is frozen. Kaisa is forced to overextend here. I wanna thin out the wave a little bit so Leona gets better engages. Had that engage landed just now, we would have taken a lot of damage from minions, which is not optimal, obviously. Now we can fight. But now we no longer have a freeze. But yeah. This is a slow push towards them now, but if we get an engage here, they are, they are getting punished so incredibly hard. And we can still deny some farm. Pretty even game. There's an argument for body blocking that, by the way. Yeah, we, get, we crash a huge wave under the tower now. Start maxing W. Didn't see Leona got caught there as well. I thought that was a play. Oh no, not again. I tried to... Okay. I tried to uh, record a game with this build already, but our jungler just went AFK and then we needed to surrender at 10. Honestly, we can just base here. Getting some item advantage going. Because what are they gonna do about it? By the time this wave goes to our tower, I'm there again, walking at 415 movement speed. This was like the, the mini version of Push Past River Roam. Yeah, if Leona holds this now. Yeah, now we got a massive item advantage going. Because we just spent our gold and Kaisa didn't. And if Kaisa tries to spend it now, she will get hard punished because she will lose a lot of minions under tower. They're roaming mid lane, actually. Oh, the team.
Hesse is losing so much farm though. We can just keep going. Luckily this build is good at dueling, so if Kha'Zix jumps on us in the mid game, we sh should be able to fight back. Six kills though. With isolate damage he might be one-shotting us. Alright, now we work towards Eclipse. But yeah, 1.3 attack speed without W. It's quite nice. Hmm. Top lane's going decent. Dragon in 10 seconds. I will hold the wave. Let's push one more. Yeah, this is a good dragon. If you go for it. I got caught by everything. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I should have I should have dodged the or I should have flashed the Zyra ulti and then I could have lived. Or I should have just not been there. I greed it for an assist, essentially. Mm, we can't take a tower, so I can't get a vamp scepter. Just get another long sword. And a control ward. Alright. Ooh, five damage to champions. <laughs> it's sort of like one auto attack at um, minimal health. Because it is 6% uh, current health, not max health, right? So it matters most in the beginning of a fight. They're going for it. This should still be fine-ish. Oh, okay, not anymore. Not with Zyra ulti being ready again. Let's go like this. In yeah, the early game especially, the magic damage from the Siphon part of the passive is what really matters. In extended fights, the longer the game goes, the more valuable the 6% is obviously, right? Yeah, they're all getting fed. I don't like it. I take the mid wave too. Deals so much damage. Oh no. Kane! Please!
tough game, but definitely winnable. Maybe we should just gank bot lane. Yeah, they they didn't react. They're dead. Kaisa flash. Need to life steal. I almost get hit by charm. <laughs> it's like it's my destiny. Uh, anyway, had I dodged that charm, we could have gotten this, but obviously at point blank range when she ults into me. I didn't think she would still have ult ready. My bad, obviously. Ooh, Kaisa messed up. She has no mana! Go kill her. I could sell Dorans for Mythic, but selling Dorans at 18 minutes... Not really what I want to be doing. Instead, I should just farm, get my item then. Uh-oh. That was good. Yes, we need to bait out the charm before we can approach Ari. Let's not overextend. Dragon in 50. I should base and get my mythic so we, um, so we're as strong as possible to contest that dragon. Okay. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. 20 seconds. Ooh, I like it. They need to react to uh, Rift Heralds. Oh, that could have been huge. Oh, we got him. Nice, that's free Drake. No jungler for them. Ari Charm on cooldown. Let's just push mid lane. <laughs> Alright. You do you, I guess. Need to dodge Ari Charm. If she jumps in. Better not risk it. It's two versus three right now. <laughs> the misclick of doom. But yeah, we just try to maximize farm here.
It's Ari basing. Anyway, push past River Rome. Yeah, we should get them here. Renekton should be dead. Except for I got flashed on. <laughs> of course. AD carry life. Yeah, this is why we get Edge of Night uh, after Sanguine Blade. So we can be a little bit safer. Oh no, he got charmed. You. <laughs> yeah, turns out even at one and five or one and four Renekton at the time, I just flash one shot me with ults. Need to be more careful. Need to stay out of range. Playing AD carry can be tough sometimes. Casually three shutting them. Yeah, the teleport was checkmate. I didn't react to it. But they are overextended here, aren't they? Oh, come on, Leona. Yeah, that Leona ult was a huge whiff. Let's try. I respect it. A thousand blade damage, that's nice. Not too shabby. Eclipse damage is super mediocre. I mean, they nerfed it like two or three times because it was too strong. So now it's almost non-existent. It's more like about the movement speed and the small shield and the good stats the item gives. Because the stat profile is very strong. He lives. What? I mean, he had 11 kills and he has some armor. But I was quite sure in my minion wave I would have been able, I would be able to 1v1 him. But apparently I need Sanguine Blade before that happens. The extra attack speed from Sanguine Blade would have given me the edge. This item's also giving me the edge. Anyway. <laughs> Why is this Kai'Sa so incredibly fed? Weren't we like super far ahead in lane? Oh boy. Let's try and contest this. I can't ult because Ari can charm me if I do. Okay, I'm moving it outside. Uh, doesn't matter, let them have it. Probably best not to contest it. Again, this is greed. I just want the dragon for our team, being greedy. And had we fought for it, we would have died. Then I fight for nothing and die. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, this game's definitely not my masterpiece. Are we fine? We might be. Can I get my Sanguine Power Spike? Quite big. 
Last item in this game, by the way, I think it should be um, Serpent's Fang to deal with uh, Sterex Gage and with Kaiser Ulti. Or actually, Silver Dust Grudge is just too good. Yeah, I think Silver Dust is still correct because we get all that lethality and percent penetration is a must buy when you have lethality. Nice. We're super strong right now. Dodge the charm. They're all low. We should win this. Come on, uh, guys, please don't disappoint me. Well, I guess they are more fed than I am. Yeah, this is barren for them. Tricky spot, for sure. The big deal will be the Drake Soul. That's on the line in two minutes. Let's just hope they don't get too much value out of Baron. We'll see, though. What we can do right now is farm to get more items. They will probably start pushing mid lane. Yeah. Get bot lane past river, get some momentum going there. Why is this buggy or visually glitching out? Needle gets pressure top, and they don't really do much right now. Dragon in one minute. Hmm. So we don't have our ultis for dragon. You're too slow. That's the dragon for them. Our jungler is dead. One second. Well, as long as we're fighting over dragon, they're not using their Baron buff at least. Oh no. Can't. Oh! Rise! The savior. I thought they had that, but apparently, well... <laughs> for some reason, Rise stole it. We take those. Ooh, that's a tight game. Okay, we got another four minutes 
to get the situation under control before the next dragon is on the line. Clown Fiesta. We're all just dying. Need to be careful with Ari Charm. Deal some damage. Tess is trying something. Hmm? That's a good teleport. That's not over chase. Yeah, I definitely want Serpent Spang this game. 100%. <laughs> I have the most German score ever. 999. <laughs> oh well. But still, Cerrilda's Garage is so good. What should I do? Cerildas is also more slot efficient. Nah, I think Cerildas is the correct choice regardless. Hitting that Renekton shield over and over again is... It feels bad, but it's like the only person where it really matters. So yeah, let's go over the scratch. They're preparing Baron, right? Dragon in one and a half. No, I'm not trusting this. Okay. <laughs> he just did it for vision anyway. Still got Baron. Drake and forty. I can't buy anything. I would need to wait for Last Whisper. No, I can though. No, I can't. 20 seconds is not enough. We need to rush it. Charm on cooldown. Drake spawning. My ult is not ready, definitely. Teleport.
They got soul. But I can still 1v1 them if I need to. Yeah. Have enough. For my last item. Oh boy, this game. It's actually quite nerve wracking. So I guess this full build is fine. We don't need to switch out boots for anything. We are dealing plenty of damage. Now they got the soul. And this is still manageable. What they really cannot get here is Elder. Four minutes. Oh no. Guys. Okay, Leona AFK. Inting, I don't know. I don't know what that was. But yeah, that's game. Definitely. At least I got some credits from my enemies for this game in which I <laughs> kind of dealt all the damage. Uh, anyway, as long as your win percentage is more than 50, you will climb and you will always keep climbing. So a, lo a loss here and there, it's, it's manageable. Blade of the Rune King, fun item to play around with if you are more like the kiting kind of player. And uh, Lethality obviously in the late game does wonders for your ultimate, but if you want to see crit misfortune, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.